Hey guys, before we hop into today's video, I just want to let you know that I have partnered up with Beatopia, which is a really cool platform that's dedicated towards teaching artists and producers industry tips, tricks, all that good stuff that will help you grow. They pretty much align with our brand and the type of stuff that we do. Now, we are doing a giveaway of a Noemi TLM-102 condenser microphone, and all you have to do is follow Beatopia and they will announce the winner in about a month. Now, the link is in the description below. Just go over there, check them out, give them a follow, tell them I sent you, and you could potentially have the chance at winning this $700 microphone, which I'm gonna be real with you, I didn't know microphones cost that much before this. And if this is what artists are going through, this is the type of stuff you have to spend your money on, then I feel you, bro. Music is expensive, but the mic almost made me feel like I should be a rapper. So, like I said, if you're interested in that, if you want a chance of winning that mic, just go and follow Beatopia on Instagram. Once again, I will put that link in the description below. Make sure you let them know that I sent you. And other than that, let's get into today's video. What's going on? It's your man, Colby. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, today, what I want to talk with you about is how Lil Uzi Vert is pretty much a marketing genius. Now, I know we say on this channel a lot that you really shouldn't look to superstar artists for marketing tactics because a lot of times they can do things that you guys can't do, right? Like if Drake goes out and buys a thousand fireworks that make an OVO out in the sky, that's a cool idea, right? But we can't really say that's actionable for every single artist. But what Uzi has been doing to roll out his new album that's coming, Eternal A Take, is actually something that I think that every artist can learn from. And they are really actionable steps that you can take from whether you're a big superstar artist or a bedroom artist who's just really starting to get into the grind. But before we get into all of that, come and follow me on Instagram. I'll make sure to put my at name in the description below. Come talk to me, come engage with me, come give me some video ideas, all of that good stuff. With that being said, let's get right into it. Now, one of the big things that Uzi has been doing is he's been utilizing his own platforms to get his message out. Now, that may sound like something small, but in an age where artists are just dying to run to other platforms, whether it be a big social media account or a big blog just to give away the big story and the big press, this is something that's really unprecedented. I'm not saying he's the first to do it, but he's the first in the most recent times that I can think of to do it. What Uzi has been doing is utilizing his own Twitter platform, mostly Twitter, some Instagram, some YouTube, but definitely mostly Twitter, to engage his fans, to put out the word about this album that's coming. And like I said, the benefits that come from that is when the engagement starts to roll in, you, the artist, is the one that's benefiting from that. I once had an artist talk to me about getting their music video placed onto a larger YouTube account. And the thing I had to break down to them was, if this account gets a million views on your video, you did not get a million views, that account got a million views. And that applies for anything, a narrative, a story, a piece of content, whatever if you are posting it on a different platform then whatever engagement that that post gets usually ends up benefiting the platform more than it benefits you now if you're an artist who's just starting to build out these platforms can be very useful it can be useful to go to someone who already has an audience to establish yourself in but if you have an audience of your own if you have already cultivated a pretty good audience then a lot of times I don't really see it making sense for you to take the major news pieces or the major content pieces two other platforms. Build up your own platform and you can do what Uzi's doing, which is pretty much utilizing it to put your message out the best way you see fit or, you know, pretty much doing whatever you feel like doing it without having to go through a middleman for some of these things. Now, the second thing that Uzi's been doing really well is he's been using this rollout to engage his fans. The best way that he's done it so far is through the cover art vote that he had on his Twitter profile. If you go back and look, I think this was about two or three days ago as of me recording this video. He had a poll on his feed, which had three distinct cover arts and he asked fans to vote on which of those cover arts should be the main cover art for Eternal Take. Personally, I feel like he probably already has one picked. I saw a tweet that said something like, plot twist, this is the main cover art, the deluxe version and the single version, and I personally think something like that. But it is cool that he included his fans in the decision-making process. What this does to your fan base is it makes them feel like you value their opinion towards the art that they love to respect and to support. And when the project comes out and they see like, oh snap, my cover art is the one that got chosen or my cover art is the one that got picked for the single art, it makes them feel that much more attached to the project and the results of the project that comes. And we talk about this all the time. Emotional attachment with your fan base is a large part of having an engaged and supportive fan base. If they don't feel anything or any type of direct connection to you, usually the relationship fizzles out at some point. And that's how you see artists who have like 
like you know millions of followers but they don't really get engagement that supports those numbers that they're getting right so this is an idea that any artist can take whether you have a following or a large following or a small following include your fans in decision making processes that dictate the project or the singles ask fans what they think you should do ask fans what you think your next single should be ask them what you think you should make videos to things that include your fan base activate them a lot more it makes them feel a lot more engaged and it makes them want to participate in whatever it is that you're trying to push to them and lastly uzi is painting a narrative and telling a story with this project and i know i know every artist usually says something like this project tells a story it tells something about me but uzi has actually taken the time out to craft a full narrative around eternal take even going so far as to create characters for the project when i first got hip to it he was talking about a character by the name of baby pluto who i'm going to assume is the signature character of eternal take we don't know what it represents yet but he has been giving us little tidbits of information that supports you know some of the fan theories and just is giving us more background information of his mind behind this whole rollout one of the big things is he put out a promo video once again about two or three days ago as of me making this video and in it it was just a bunch of like really weird wild shit it started out with uzi in like an office then some crazy stuff starts happening he goes outside it's like a spaceship a bunch of women in purple just start following him around i'm probably not doing it justice just go and check the video out but uzi once again took to his twitter to paint the full story of those characters and like i said give us more meaning into what those characters represent for the entire project a good example is these tweets right here right ladies in purple comes from pluto and venetia bernie conscious in her knowledge of greek mythology they can also free roam earth and space lifespan immortal eternal if the ladies in purple decides to wear blue they are searching for love and rebirth so that means they take your soul and you will be stuck at that age that was your best year but everything and everyone you love will die disappear as time goes on so once again, like I said, Uzi is painting a narrative around these characters and I am a firm believer that most people, not everyone right, but most people don't buy art, they buy the story behind the art. So Uzi is already getting a head step on this, creating a world that his fans can become immersed in so that the project is much bigger than him, right? It becomes, like I said, an entire universe, an entire world that he can string his fans through. And just me getting my marketing brain going, that just opens up a whole world of things that he can do as far as marketing, branding, merchandising. Pretty sure Uzi's already thought about this, but he really has set himself up pretty nicely with this narrative that he's building with the project. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are things that I noticed that Uzi's been doing with the rollout for Eternal to Take that, like I said, I feel like any artist, no matter what size they are, can imitate or just put into their own marketing rollouts and marketing plans. And right before I started recording this, at least this part of the video, I saw that today he's rolling out the track list on his Twitter account pretty much using the same methods that he used to roll out the cover art and the storyline and the promo video. So it's safe to say that Uzi is really going hard for these three things that we talked about specifically. And if Uzi thinks it's a good idea, as mega successful as he is, I don't see why it wouldn't be a good idea for it anybody else i would love to hear what you have to think on the situation do you like the way that uzi's rolling his album out do you think there are things that he could do differently do you think that these are things that you could actionably do for yourself like i said let me know in the comment section below or come and hit me up on instagram and give me your thoughts now other than that if you feel like you learned anything today please like and share this video hit those post notifications as well as i wouldn't want you to miss anything once again my name is Corey, and i'll see y'all next time